Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we have another check-in for my braces. Today is July 27th. Um, it's like 9.20, my appointment's at 9.30, but the place is like five minutes away, so it's fine. I'll probably explain this in a, another video, um, but I have a broken bracket right here. Um, this is my third one. In the past three months since my last checkup, this has been my third broken bracket and it's the same one. So that same bracket has popped off or unglued or what, whatever you want to call it twice. And on the bottom molar, right? And then on the other side, the same one on the other side has also popped off. Today, is 11 months since i got my braces i got my braces september 1st today is july 27th so i have like a month in between so 11 months today and i am gonna go get these checked out um i have gaps right here like big gaps i had this one before and then now this one's there same side i mean same two different side and I got this one three months ago. And I would say that they are more aligned. And I'll kind of talk about that later after my appointment because I got to go. But the biggest thing right now is I have gaps right here. So my assumption is that they're going to give me a new wire as usual. And maybe I'm hoping for stronger rubber bands. Um, but we'll see when we get there. So anyways, I got to go. So I will check in with you guys after my appointment. Bye. Alrighty guys, I am back from my appointment. So I always do this, but I have Damon braces. So I go to the ortho every eight to 12 weeks, as they say. Um, up until today, I was going every 12 weeks, um, but today for my next appointment, they told me it's in 10 weeks, so that's two weeks less. Okay, but you know, approximately it's like three months, give or take. So today is the 11 11th month so like in about a month i'll be a year into my journey okay so today i went in for my routine checkup um and i had a broken bracket on my molar my lower molar on the left side so i will include this in another video that i'm gonna make go ahead and watch that video because there you're gonna see my progress or i'm gonna put pictures of my teeth before braces and then with braces and like the changes over time with braces just by like having like selfies like uh maybe even some videos in there just so you can see how even you know just a regular picture you can see the difference but in that video i'm also going to talk about <laughs> my broken brackets and why that's been happening so whatever let's talk about my appointment today so updates i don't have new rubber bands or elastics they stay the same. What I do have new though is this right here. You can see it's blue, kind of. I, I thought the last time the one that I had was a power chain, but like a short one. But he said the, the guy fixing or the guy doing the work on my teeth said that that one was a special one, that it was different. I don't know what the difference is. All I know is that the other one was just these four teeth. And now I have it across the whole top of my whole top set of teeth. Um, the ortho said that it's to close up these gaps. I was talking about these before I left. She said we're going to close up those gaps. So they gave me that. I chose blue because from the videos that I've seen, um, blue makes your teeth look whiter or maybe less yellow. But I said blue, but I probably should have gotten like turquoise like the turquoise blue because that one's like a little brighter i feel like this one kind of just looks black from a distance which is fine because the other one that i had was black and it was fine i liked it um but i wanted to try some color but i was like okay i'll play it safe though and you know i i've seen videos where they say that blue makes your teeth look whiter but i should have gotten like the turquoise blue not this blue because this blue just kind of looks like like just black almost um 
but it's fine because it's also not like a huge huge noticeable thing they had pink and other colors which i'd love to try but i thought okay let's keep it like i, I just i remember the whole blue thing and the teeth being whiter because i had my graduation this weekend um and then i had my graduation party in like a month so i just want to make sure like that was okay so i played it safe i was gonna get black but then i'm like no 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 try color i did blue but anyway so i got that i also got stronger wires um i think that's just every time i go to the ortho that happens um so what happened with the broken bracket so i went I mentioned this before the people that perform the work on our teeth are like the ortho assistants if you will um but the ortho comes checks out your teeth and she tells the assistants everything that they have to do so everything that they do has to be approved um by the orthodontist so she went in there um and he told her um but i think they're pretty i think it's pretty aligned so you might not even need it anymore but we'll see and he told her that he told the orthodontist the same thing um she got some um she got some floss and she went in there for like in between you know like three sets of teeth if you will and like it went in and out in and out in and out and i think like that's where she can feel like how aligned it is i think that's why she did it so she did that for like three teeth in between you know three sets of teeth and then she's like oh no yeah like they're pretty aligned um i think it's best that we keep it off so because this is a second time it pops off and um before that the guy also made me do like the whole you know open bite down and then they see like in the back if it's hitting and he was kind of like oh yeah it looks like it's hitting um so then yeah she told he told the ortho the ortho checked that and she said yeah it's pretty aligned um so we're gonna keep it off um because it's already aligned right so i was like okay i'm not gonna lie a part of me was like i'd rather just keep it so that it keeps staying aligned you know um but the molars are way back there and yeah i mean it was just weird because they took this one off but all the other four are still on like even on this side this one's on because they asked me is this one giving you trouble i said no this one popped off like three days after the initial placement but that's about it this one popped off twice already so i was just a little bit like well i want them all to be like the same and even but, you know, I trust her judgment. And she said, no, this one's aligned already. Like, yeah. So then I even asked the assistant after. I was like, oh, so this one's staying off. He's like, yeah, but it's aligned. It's fine. Like, you're going to be fine. So I was like, okay. But that was basically it. They just took off the bracket. So here, I don't have a bracket anymore on this tube. And over here, you can see that I do. So that is or those are basically the updates for today so my next appointment's in october how exciting i love going to the ortho i don't know why i love going to the ortho um i still have yet to get ipr so ipr is basically where they shave in between your teeth in the gaps not in the gaps but in between your teeth they shave down like a little bit to create gaps um, and that's also supposed to help the top of my teeth kind of like go more back because again, my main problem is my over jet. All my videos I talk about it, but that's the reason why I got my braces because my jaw is like this. We're trying to get it as much as we can like this. It's not gonna, you know, go like this all the way because I did not get extractions. But if it was like this, at least halfway is already a win, right? So yeah, I'm using the same elastics different um wire i no longer have a bracket here hopefully this one doesn't pop off later because that'd be so annoying because i'd have to go back and they'd probably take it off too and the power chain or the chain up here um so let me do some close-ups and then of course i'll always do the side the side view because as again my main issue or the reason why i got my braces was because of my bite my over jet um and i did not get extraction so you know going back to this i was told that it would not close all the way um but that we would try to close it as much as we can so i usually put like a little videos from when i first got braces or pictures so you can see the difference up until now um so i'll do that as well but for now let me do the close-ups 
Hold on, I feel like the lighting is not good here. Okay, I am super close and up in your face, but there's better lighting here so you can see my teeth. And I'm in a different room today, that's why it's like weird. <laughs> or different, not weird. Okay, so there's the blue. You can kind of see it more right now that I'm in the light. Or in front of the window, I should say. So you can see how this these front teeth are still very much in front. Um, but honestly, I think I've had really good progress considering where I started. And for no extractions, in my opinion, I think it looks good. Again, you know, some of you are probably like, girl, no. Your, your overjet is still huge. And again, it's not going to be fully corrected because I didn't get extractions. In fact, they wanted me to get oral surgery. Like, that's how bad my bite was is um is was i mean it's still it's still there but it's not as bad as it was but it was like a 0 0.08 millimeters i think that's big but i i didn't even want to get extractions either so you know the the relationship between my top and lower jaw it's the, the that gap is not going to be closed but i think for the fact that i didn't get extractions I think it's going really well and again you'll see that in the progress pictures but i'm almost a year in again i'll be a year in september so 11 months in and i think there's been good progress but um sorry i'm supposed to show you my teeth but i'm saying this because i've been very or i've tried to be very good about wearing my rubber bands uh these are rubber bands elastics because that is essentially what mostly i think closes or it plays a big role in closing that gap. Um, so I've been really, really, really good about putting them on. Always to sleep. Like I try to have them on all the time. Except when I eat, right? But I try to have them on as much as I can. Because that is essentially what's going to help out the most for that. For that problem of my bite. Um, so if you have rubber bands or you have a similar problem. Like really do use them. Because I think they do make a big, big, big difference. Um, and I knew going in, like, these bad boys are going to be on all the freaking time. Where I feel like people usually like the elastics, they forget about them, or they think they're annoying, which I don't think they're annoying. Maybe because I knew going in that that was going to play a big role. At least for my, what I call my problem area, which is my overjet. But anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. But wear your elastics. They're very important. And I think that's why there's been good progress with my overjet. Anyways, um, these are my teeth. So you can see like if I move it forward, they're not too far away from being like aligned as they should. Okay, and then this is one other thing too that I remember from the videos I would watch. I remember them saying that your the relationship in your teeth. Let me take these off. Your teeth should not be like from the top to bottom they should not be directly on top of each other rather they should fill in in between the gaps so what i mean by that okay you see how this tooth is in between these two right here all right this one should be in between these two right here you see in between these two right here and then here in between these two like when i got my braces my teeth were like directly on top of one another Um, but you see this right here, how this tooth falls in the middle between these two right here? Like, they should they should not be like this. Or they're on top of one another. In the front, I think it's different, but... I'm not a doctor, but... From videos that I've watched, it should be like that. They should fall in between. Like this. And so far, that's been happening. Not only has the gap closed between my upper and lower jaw, but my teeth are better aligned. And I can see that here too. Like I said, they're falling in between. You see that in between? Um, but anyways, let's do the side view. This is the side view, by the way. You see, it's really bad. And if I move my jaw forward, that's how you know that this is the issue at the bottom. Is 
Let's do the other side. Sorry, I'm holding this on with my hand, so. So you can see how I got on teeth. The bottom set of my teeth are like flared out, which makes them appear closer to these top ones. But that's basically where my teeth are at. Like I said, I still have IPR left. I mean, apart from like probably a whole nother year of braces because my um, treatment is 18 to 24 months. So I'm on month 11. But the thing that they said they would do is IPR. Like I said, where they shave in between the top teeth, they create gaps. And then I assume they put one of these on too to close those gaps. But then it also pushes the teeth a little bit back, right? So that should also help with my bite or my overjet, I hope. Still don't know when that's going to happen. I'm assuming now that that's going to happen towards the end. Um, but we shall see. But for today, that is basically all that I have for updates. Again, um, watch the other video that I'm going to upload as well. I'm going to upload like pictures that they took at the orthodontist like the day bo like before you get your braces. I'm also, so I'm going to include like the orthodontic orthodontist pictures i'm also going to include a simulation that they do for like invisalign where you can see my teeth as well um like the image of my teeth and then i'm going to include pictures of like before braces and then during braces and then like the the journey with the braces and you can see like even just like in pictures um how the teeth have changed so i love i love watching those kinds of things like um teeth change but yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching today's video i assume that these gaps are going to start closing up are right here so i think in a month i will probably have an update video for you guys but any change that i see i will let you guys know so again because i got these i feel like the gaps are going to start closing and i'll have an update um but other than that uh oh last thing also i mentioned this in my other videos but I felt like my teeth were like, you know, better, but I still felt like these two were very much in front. Um, and you'll see that in the other video as well, where these front teeth, I used to say I have Olaf teeth, were like very in the front. And even with the braces, they became more aligned, right? But I still felt like these are slightly up, up in front of like the other teeth. Now I feel like that's going away. So I said this, I think, in my previous video where you could see, like, how these two teeth are... They looked aligned, right? Like, if you go like this, they looked aligned. But if I went like this, you could see how these two teeth are still, like, in the front, like, ahead of the others. But now I think that's decreased. Because, look. Whereas before, these are a little bit more in the front. And that was after they were kind of more straight. They're still very much in the front. And now I feel like they're more pushed back. So anyways, that is it for today. I will continue to wear my rubber bands. You should continue to wear your rubber bands too if you have them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.